I'm Joe McGlamory, and it's my honor to serve as president of the Bullock County Historical Society, and we are all honored to be with you this afternoon. We have a number of officers and directors of the Historical Society here this afternoon. Our purpose here is to dedicate the newest mural that the Historical Society has commissioned, and that is the River People. I hope all of you have had a chance to see that mural. It's located on the west side of the Black Box Theater on West Main Street. Um, there are a series of five murals and they depict the period of our history called the Early Archaic. And I can't tell you what year that was, but it was a long time before any of us were around. But anyway, it's a wonderful mural. We hope that you will enjoy visiting it many times. Virginia Ann Waters Franklin is Franklin Waters is going to read the material that you'll find on the plaque next to the mural on West Main. Thank you so much, Joe. We've been wanting to dedicate this fabulous second mural of ours for a long time. And in talking with the folks at the DDA when they said they were having Ag Night out, I couldn't think of a more appropriate time. The river people were the first stewards of our land here in Bullock County. And so this is the bronze plaque that goes with the five murals if you haven't had a chance to read this information. River people, the artists were David Boatwright and Michael Cuffell. This series of murals depicts important aspects of life in Bullock County in the late archaic period. That was 3,000 to 1,000 years ago, one of the most interesting and active periods of local American Indian occupation. The environment of Bullock County in South Georgia had become warmer and initially wetter with rich and diverse resources for hunter-gatherers that supported larger populations than ever before. Thanks to the area's abundance of fish and mussels from the rivers and creeks, as well as game and a wide variety of nuts, fruit, and edible plants from the woodlands surrounding them, indigenous populations were able to establish more permanent s settlements along the Ogeechee River. Among the most important of their food sources were freshwater mussels, that were consumed in large amounts. The refused shells were scattered throughout the village and disposed in large trash piles known as middens. These middens preserve a wide variety of discarded items that help archaeologists better understand and reconstruct the lives of these people. From large pine and cypress trees, they constructed dugout canoes that helped them travel long distances, trading and establishing relationships with others. This period saw the development of new tools and technologies, such as large projectile points, knives, soapstone vessels, and clay pottery. People living along the Savannah and Ogeechee Rivers at this time created the first and oldest documented pottery in North America thousands of years before the intensive farming was common in Georgia. Fish, turtles, and even alligators were captured in traps at points along the river, a practice that continued into the 19th century. In fact, much of the culture of late indigenous groups in the southeast had their origin in the practices of the late archaic period. We must give special thanks to the Georgia Council on American Indian Concerns. They were 100% behind this project and its accuracy. We also thank Georgia Southern's University's Department of Sociology and Anthropology. This mural was supported by the Jack Inn and Addie D. Averett Foundation. Joe? Thank you, Virginia Ann. It's, um, this is a wonderful occasion for us to be here with you and to dedicate this. We do hope that you'll take time to go by and look at these murals. 
We're grateful to the Downtown Development Authority uh, for allowing us to participate in this First Friday event as we dedicate this mural to the memories of those who came before us and in the hope that future generations of Stageboro and Bullock County residents will learn from these earlier cultures and peoples. I want to thank the Junior Bullock County Historical Society from Bullock Academy. They're here somewhere. Uh, they're circling around and great to have those youngsters with us passing out bottled water and fans and other things on behalf of the Historical Society. Thank you again for your attention and we hope you enjoy the remainder of your evening.